YouTube community it's been a long time since I left you with a video but today I'm looking at a 2002 Chevrolet Corvette C5 Z06 here's the thing guys as you can see I got my C6 my C6Z behind me hanging out relaxing and uh, we're in the dealership it's after rehearsal at church so now I'm in the parking lot of the dealership down the block and I saw this C5 a couple of days ago, or I should say last week, and I was just thinking to myself, man, C4, C5, C6. I could complete the trifecta. Uh, I just saw MDH Automotive's video. Uh, check out his channel, I'll link to it below, but basically he's got a boatload of cars, but he's a Corvette dude as well. He's had a C7 Z06, he's got a C6 Z06, he's got a C5 Z06, both of those he's selling, he's housed. I think he still has the C4, but he had a C4 at least. Um, so for me, for the longest time, I've liked C5, but my favorite car was always the C6. And actually, even the C4, I kind of stumbled upon it. So, you know, every single time I see a, a real clean C5, I always get I always get intrigued. Now this one here, as they say, as they show on the sticker here, it's 22.9. Honestly, I don't even know if that's that great of a deal. Hold on, let me see. Obviously, it's at a dealership. Okay, it's got 20,000 miles based on the, the sticker and the papers in the window there. It's got 20,000 miles. It looks super, super clean on the interior. As you can see, it's got a little it's red shifter. It looks like red shift knob. Can we see? Can we? Yeah, so it's got a red shift knob. Um, so I don't know. I got to figure out how can I convince my beautiful bride to let me have three Corvettes. See? See, technically, we'll have one for each kid. That's what we'll do, we'll have one for each kid. So yeah, guys, this is what I do for fun. Sometimes I just go car shopping, dream shopping, as we call it. Uh, and so yeah, so I'm out here just looking at the C5. Um, and yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm honestly, I'm, I'm almost tempted, I'm almost tempted. I don't know where I'd park it. I'd have to go find storage. I only have a three car garage. I have four cars right now. So we have to figure something out. We, we'd have to figure something out, but Every so often, when you come, there's just nothing quite like, there's nothing quite like a real clean C5. Just a clean C5, there's, just, there's nothing like it. I mean, I love Z06s, obviously I have one. I love the C4, but there's nothing like a clean C5. So every single time I, I see one that's clean, I'm always like, hmm, I'm interested. So tell me what you guys think in the comments. Should I get a C5? Should I, I'm, well, here's the thing. You guys, I don't know if I will ever sell. I will definitely never sell the Z06. Um, that is my car, that is my dream car. This bad boy right here is gonna ride with me until the death, unless for some reason uh, I find a Le Mans Blue one, that is a great deal. If I find a Le Mans Blue one that's a great deal, then we'll be trading this in and getting the Le Mans Blue. Uh, otherwise, this is gonna stay in the fleet. The C4, um, I don't know. I'm kind of right now. I'm kind of more of a C4 channel. The Z06 Z uh, hasn't gotten that much attention, really, at all on my channel, and that's mainly because uh, I want to go big with it. Uh, heads, cam, intake, uh, headers, exhaust, the whole nine. Um, do it up right. Get some drag radials. Take it to the track. All that. And uh, when you have kids that are the ages of four, three, and one, you got to prioritize. So. Right now, it's easier to do smaller things to the C4, and I really do enjoy driving the C4 because with this, uh, this particular car, I mean, when you think about 505 horsepower, even bone stock, this car can be a handful, especially if you drive it in competition mode, which is what I like to do because then you get the tail out, you get to do some a little bit more aggressive driving, and, and the traction control is a little bit more forgiving. Um, it has been raining like all evening, so uh, I will definitely be driving it slow on the way home but um that's basically that's basically what i'm thinking so i just figured i'd make a quick video showing you guys apparently there's some kind of police activity or ambulance or something anyway uh so i just thought i'd make a quick video and see what you guys thought about 
the C5 and maybe who out there has multiple Corvettes? I mean, what is your dream Corvette garage? And let's take all of the cars out of it. If you had, if what kind of stable would you have? Would you have a C4, C5, C6, C5, C6, C7, you know, a C7 and a, and a C3, you know, there's a lot of guys that love C3s. There's a beautiful C3 down the street from me, actually, um, that um, I forgot how many miles it has on it, but it's white. It's just gorgeous. It's a 1980. Uh, I don't think my neighbor is still selling it. Um, I can actually, it's, he's actually just four or five houses down from me. But, but my wife was really like, she was like, she was like, you should trade in the C4 or get rid of the C4 uh, and go get that C3. And I was thinking to myself, man, that really is a beautiful car. And I love the T-tops. But the problem for me is that car, I don't, wouldn't, I would cruise in it. And I, I need what I like about the C4 is I can toss it around. I mean, it's got, you know, obviously it needs a paint job, it needs some other things, so it's 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 not, you know, I, I feel more comfortable experimenting on it. That car is in such good condition uh, that I would feel really bad trying to, you know, beat on it, you know? Um, it's, it's more of like a garage queen, to me, at least the way from the pictures I saw. And even when he had it in his driveway the other day, it looked just beautiful. It looked like a garage queen. So for me, and plus, honestly, when I think about the technology in the C4, uh, it is more of an athletic car. It just handles better. I've driven a C3 once before. Like, I just like the handling of the C4 better. So for me, that's probably not going to happen. Uh, I think at some point it would be nice to have like a C2. That would be really cool. Um, but that would definitely be a cruiser. Um, that would definitely not be a uh, daily drive or anything like that, obviously. Um, but for me, having the C4 and the C6 is perfect. If I was going to add another one, I would probably add a C5 uh, of some sort. I think a C5, just a regular C5, not this bad boy right here, um, but a regular C5, not the Z06, is a better value, I think, in terms of if you're just trying to get into a C5 and, and take it to the track and, and daily drive and those types of things, that's I think is a better value. But there's definitely something to be said about these Z06s, man. I mean, they're just they're just pretty, man. They really are. Even the, re even the, even the regular... Uh, C5s are pretty, but I mean, there's nothing like a clean C5. Anyway, that's just a quick video I want to make for you guys. Let me know your thoughts, and we'll be back with more C4 content uh, at some point this weekend. Hopefully, it's going to be drier than it is today, so we'll be able to do some more things. Uh, thanks, guys, for watching. If you have not uh, yet, if you've not, do not done so already, please subscribe, please like, please leave a comment below, and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much. Have a blessed day. Peace out. We got a black Ferrari California. Maybe I can trade the Z and uh, they'll just do me a straight up trade, don't you think? Ha!